Hi everybody, I'm Vincent Racaniello and I'm here at the incubator with Angela Rasmussen. Welcome. Thanks for having me, Vincent. I wanted to ask you one quick question. What's bothering you today? Bird flu. Why is it bothering you? So I looked up this morning where we're at right now with poultry outbreaks across the U.S. and there's 81 confirmed uh, flocks, um, both commercial and backyard. Uh, there's This has affected almost 9 million birds in the U.S. so far. And with that amount of bird flu around, um, it seems inevitable to me that some of these viruses will actually start spilling back over into humans. We're also having a relatively early flu season with a new strain of H3N2 that's not well matched to the vaccine that's seeming to become dominant. So um, the flu situation is kind of keeping me up at night because there's a lot of flu viruses around. There's a lot of bird flu viruses around. And when those things uh, combine, that means that we are at higher risk of having, I guess, a bird flu pandemic. What should we be doing about H5N1 right now? We should be controlling uh, these poultry outbreaks. We should be doing a lot more testing and surveillance. Um, we're essentially doing no human surveillance at all. So if bird flu does get into people, that increases the risk that it could acquire the ability to transmit between them efficiently, which is the one thing that's keeping the virus from becoming a pandemic. So if we're not testing for human cases, if we're not looking for them, we can't potentially isolate them. New viruses could pop out of them that are going to be better at infecting people and transmitting between them. So with the testing situation, with all the bird flu everywhere, with human seasonal flu ticking up, and with not that many people getting their flu shots because our current administration uh, is really discouraging that, um, we're in a pretty precarious situation in terms of risk. Could become a pandemic tomorrow, could never become a pandemic, we don't know. But the best thing that we should be doing is doing everything we can to prevent it from becoming a pandemic. Do you have faith that if there were an H5N1 pandemic, that the current administration would do the right thing? I do not. <laughs> um, I think that if we had an H5N1 pandemic right now, it would be an absolute disaster and it would make COVID look like a picnic. Thank you, Angie. Thank you, Vincent.